So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step in Seller Central how to create Amazon product listings with variation. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's say you're selling a product which has variations. For example, a water bottle that comes in blue, red, and green. Your two options are to either have three individual standalone listings or combine those three listings together to create a variation listing. Okay, so that's great, but how do you actually go about creating variation listings in Amazon Seller Central? Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just create three individual child listings, so as you would do if they were not variation listings. So in this example, we're gonna create one for a blue water bottle, one for a red water bottle, and one for a green water bottle. Once you've created those three child listings, you're gonna to wanna to create a fourth parent listing. This parent listing will connect the child listings together to create a variation listing. This parent listing is not visible to customers searching on Amazon. Essentially, it's just an invisible listing. Its sole purpose is to connect the three child listings into one variation listing. So the only place you're gonna be able to see this parent listing once it's created is in your back end in Seller Central. So why don't we go into Seller Central and I'll talk you through step-by-step -step how to actually create these Amazon variation listings. Okay, so once you're in Amazon Seller Central, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create three individual child listings. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is come to add a product, and there's two ways to do this. You can either come over to catalog and hit add a product, or inventory and add a product here. Both of these will take you to this page here. And what you wanna do is, if you're creating a new product listing for a product not sold on Amazon, it's just hit this button here. I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. What you're gonna to wanna to do is then work your way through Amazon's category taxonomy and pick the category that your product best fits into. If the product category has this little lock sign next to it, what this basically means is that you're not allowed to sell products in this category. That category is gated for you. So if you're trying to sell a product that fits into one of these gated categories, you're gonna to need to get in contact with Amazon. You're gonna to need to get ungated in that category before you can list your product listing. An alternative way to find your product category is if you're not sure exactly what category to list your product in, you can use this new search feature here. So what you can do is just, let's say, write in a laptop stand, and then Amazon will give you their suggested categories. And then once you're happy, you can just select category. Okay, so when creating your product listing, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hit this advanced view tab. If you see at the moment, there's only four tabs here. If you hit the advanced view, you see this opens things up and there's a lot more features that we can add in to the product listing. So let's just work through these one by one, starting with vital info. The first thing you're gonna to have to add is the product ID. So what you wanna do is select either EAN if you're in the EU or UPC if you're based in the US and just enter your product's barcode here. So just for the purposes of this, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four. Then you wanna add the product titles, just enter that title in. And then you need to add the brand name and manufacturer. So if you are creating a product listing for a private label product, you should put your own brand name in here and then also the same brand name for the manufacturer. So let's say we're called Tech Lab. You would just put Tech Lab for both the brand name and manufacturer. For the rest of these options, because they're not highlighted in red, they're not critical to creating the product listing, so I would just leave these blank for now. Then you wanna come over to offer, skip variations, don't do anything there for now. If we were to click on that variations tab and create variations, we would essentially be turning this product listing into a parent listing. So we'll be going through that a little bit later on in the video. So under offer, what you wanna do is select your price for your product. So let's say we decide to sell our product for 25 pounds, you'll enter that in here. You'll also need to add in a seller SKU. So this will be a SKU that you have already decided for your product. If you haven't decided on a SKU yet, then you can just make up your own SKU. So let's say we're selling a laptop stand and we decide on laptop stand SKU number one. Don't worry about your SKU too much. Amazon doesn't really use this. This is just for your own stock keeping purposes. So you can just make that up. Okay, now quantity. If you are creating an FBM product listing and you're gonna be fulfilling the orders yourself, not Amazon, then you want to enter the quantity that you have in stock here. If instead you're creating an FBA product listing and Amazon's gonna be fulfilling the orders, what you wanna do is come down to fulfillment channel and select Amazon will dispatch and provide customer service. 
Once you select this option, if we scroll back up to the top, you can see the option to add a quantity is actually no longer there. Then what you wanna do is select the condition of your product. So just select new if you're selling a new product, leave handling time, leave restock date. The only other thing that I would suggest doing is firstly adding a max order quantity. So put that as 10. The reason why you wanna do that is it stops people being able to do the 999 cart tracking tool and keeps your niche less competitive. And then finally, what you wanna select is can be gift message and gift wrapped if you're selling your products via FBA. The reason why you wanna select these options is it doesn't cost you anything and it adds value to the customer, so why would you not select them? So that's all you need to do for offer. Don't add anything for compliance unless you're selling a product that contains battery or hazmat materials, so just leave that. Then you can come over to product images and add your product images one by one. Then you wanna add the description and bullet points. So let's start off by adding the bullet points. So Amazon calls these the key product features. You can only see one, but if you click add more, add more, add more, you'll still you'll be able to add five. And then as there's five, you use no longer the add more button. Once you've added your bullet points, you wanna add your product descriptions. You don't need to add anything into the legal disclaimer. So once you've done your bullets and description, you can move on to keywords. So remember I mentioned you wanna include as many of your most powerful keywords in your title, bullets, and description, but, what you can do is with any of the keywords that you couldn't fit into your title, bullets, and description, what you can do is you can copy and paste them into this search term. This is your backend keyword list. This allows you to index or rank for keywords that aren't visible on your product listing to customers. Just bear in mind, you can only add up to a maximum of 250 characters into this backend keyword box here. Finally, you wanna come over to more details here you can add any product spec information that will show up on the spec section on your product listing. But as I scroll through, you can see that none of these boxes are highlighted in red. So you don't necessarily need to add any information here. You could go ahead and save the product listing as it is. But one, one thing I would definitely add is the product dimensions. So select centimeters or inches, depending whether you're in the US or the UK, add your product dimensions. And then once you're all done, you can hit save and finish. Okay, so once you've created your first child listing, what you're gonna to wanna to do is come back to the add a product page in Seller Central and go through that process again to create an additional child listing for each variation that you have. Okay, so once you've created an individual child listing for each variation, what you wanna do now is create your fourth parent listing, which will then combine the individual child listings together to create a variation listing. So again, what you wanna do is come to, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon make sure you choose the same category as you did for the child listing. So let's just find that again, laptop stand, select category. And then what you wanna do is hit advanced view. Now, before you put any information in, what you wanna do is come straight over to variations because we wanna turn this listing into a parent listing. By turning it into a parent listing, some of the information required will disappear. We'll no longer need a product ID because this is a parent listing. It's not a listing for an actual individual product, so it won't require us to put in a barcode. So what you wanna do is come over to variations and select variation theme. Your variation theme is essentially what your variations are. So you can see that there's an option of color. So in the example that we're talking about where we're doing three different color variations, you'd wanna select color, but you can see that there are other options as well. There is color slash material, color and size. There is size. So if you're gonna do small, medium, and large, you would want to select size. So just go through this list and select the most appropriate variation theme possible. If you can't find the one that you need on here, get in contact with Seller Central. They'll be able to advise you on which one to select or if an additional one can be added. For our purposes, we're gonna select color. Once we select color, you'll see that there is now an option to enter colors. So let's say our first variation is blue. Our second one is green and our third is red. Once you've put in all of your variations, you wanna se select add variations. And then if we scroll down, there'll be a section here to input data. Once this box here pops up, the, this listing is basically being designated as a parent listing. And what it's asking you to do here is enter the information of the three individual child listings that you've created so that it can link them together. 
So what you're first gonna to wanna to do is put in the seller SKU for each of the listings that you've just created. And then secondly here, under product ID, you're gonna to wanna to put the ASIN for each of the child listings that you created. So find your blue child listing and enter the ASIN here. Find your green child listing and enter the ASIN here. Red child listing, enter the ASIN here. And then make sure that you select ASIN from the product ID type drop down. So we'll do that for each. Then what you need to do is enter the condition for each of these child listings. So assuming they are all new products, you would just select new. Then you need to enter the pricing. Make sure that the pricing that you enter for each of these child listings matches the pricing on the actual child listing. So when you created the blue child listing and it was at 15 pounds, make sure that you enter 15 pounds here. Make sure that whatever you enter here matches the child listing. Finally, you need to enter the quantity. If your listings are fulfilled by Amazon, then you, don't, you just need to enter zero, that'll be absolutely fine. Once you've entered all of the correct information, you should get a notification under each of these product ID boxes, just saying that it is connected to this ASIN and it'll say the title of the ASIN. So once you've filled in all that information, what you need to do is come back to vital info. As you can see, the, the box to enter a barcode has now disappeared. All you need to do here is enter a product title and the brand name. Don't worry too much about the title because like I said, this listing is not gonna be visible, but what I would suggest is that if your title for the child listings is something like this with the variation at the end, just remove the variation name and give this title a generic title. Again, from the brand name and manufacturing name, just use your own brand name. Okay, so that's all the information you'll need to add. You won't need to add any images, bullets or description because this isn't a real listing. Once you have done that, you, can be, you should be able to hit save and finish. Once you hit save and finish, about 15 minutes later, you'll find that your child listings have all combined together to create one variation listing. Okay, so that is how to create an Amazon product listing with variations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like. It helps give the video a boost and get it out there to more people. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with your notification bells turned on so you get notified for all future videos and I'll see you in the next one.